So a little bit about me. Uh, and right now, I am at Amazon Alexa on the cloud side, which is the voice services and beyond voice for skill developers as well as the device manufacturers. So without further ado, let's uh, look at today's topic, Growth Beyond Mobile. The focus of the presentation will be how can you build, as product managers, the products beyond mobile, as well as how can you personally grow your career for the trends beyond mobile? And when I say beyond mobile, it's web and mobile. And, uh, and we'll look into some of these trends which will help you uh, position yourself to lead some of the cool projects and build and ship great products. So that's the focus of uh, the presentation. Uh, we'll, the bottom line is we're going to look how can you be in the right place at the right time for this growth beyond mobile, OK? Today's focus will be on three topics. The first one is, how did I get here? And we'll look into specific specific examples on uh, my career path, how I started, and how did I get here as part of uh, leading the Amazon Alexa product line. Second, we're going to look at where do I think the world will be in 10 years from now. And lastly, we'll touch upon what can you do as a product manager as well as an engineer or non-engineer looking to get into product management. So, so three topics, how did I get here? Where do I think the world will be in 10 years? And what can you do to be ready for this future? So first of all, my story. So 10 years ago, I was a software developer working in Fortune 500 companies building client-side software. Uh, you can think of Wi-Fi firmware, then it got into location technologies, and all those cool stuff uh, which are, we all love to work on the firmware, on the networking side, security side, to connect different products. Little did I know at that time what I would end up be in my next job in a startup would be called IoT, or Internet of Things. Uh, and, and at that time, I was just trying out various technologies. I built Android apps. Again, these are all in my personal free time. Just trying out different technologies. Just uh, immersing in, in, uh, myself into what I thought would be the cool things at that time, which was mobile. So I built Android apps, bunch of iOS apps, tried out various technologies. And, uh, and, and I took the leap of faith joining a startup, connecting different hardware products to the internet. At that time, I did not know it, was called, it would be called IoT, but it turned out to be the next big trend, which is Internet of Things. So, so started as a, a SD, and in this startup, I transitioned from being a full-stack cloud developer, that was the first move I did, to being a product manager for the cloud platform. And, and uh, the, the framework I've used is, there are three legs to product management, the domain, the industry, and your core skills. I changed one at a time, from client-side software to cloud full-stack developer, and then changed the role, which is from being an engineer to a cloud, uh, to a cloud product management. I grew in the PM space, started as a platform product manager, and in Samsung, I became the director of product for whole of the enterprise cloud product management for IoT. And today, uh, I made a, a switch into what we call voice services and smart home IoT and products as part of Alexa leading the cloud-based services. Uh, a little bit about Alexa and what, what I see uh, has been one of the biggest trends today in terms of the, the traction we have in the market as well as the adoption for the key trend, which is voice services. 
Today, there are more than 100 million endpoints, which is Alexa-enabled devices in market. And the key thing here is these are explicitly bought by users and not pre-installed on a mobile phone. So there's an active user intent to buy these Alexa-enabled devices versus some of the other software which is preloaded on the smartphones and other devices. The second is it's, all, it's built in, not just into the first party devices, that is Echo line, but also in other products. And we have today more than 150 built in Alexa products. And finally, from the skill side, we have more than 80,000 skills. Now the key point here is, how does this tie into what I am doing and the key trends we're gonna look at beyond mobile? My role is actually to bridge the first line here, which is Alexa-enabled devices on one end, and you have this physical devices, physical endpoints, to the skill developers, where I expose the APIs and cloud services, where they can build skills which work on these end devices. So my role is to actually build services for uh, which, which scale for all the devices, first party and third party, as well as all the skills across different uh, categories and genres. The, one of the key challenges here is how do you scale uh, a, visual, a visual screen for Echo Show versus Echo Spot and all the other third party devices? So those are the, some of the challenges I work on to scale and work in this uh, trend which is voice services. We'll switch gears and look at what I think the world will be 10 years from today. And for this, some of the trends we think are already in play today are smart home IoT, voice services, as we just saw the traction I am seeing as part of the Alexa, uh, uh, Alexa uh, enabled devices, and also the wearables. And what it might be tomorrow, which is AI ML infused services, the blockchain apps, as well as ARVA experiences. We'll dive deep into some of these key trends. Uh, the, the early trends for each of these uh, are starting with autonomous vehicles. We, uh, and, and I'll take the recent announcement what we saw. Tesla announced that there'll be more than a million uh, cars which are fully autonomous on road next year. The second key thing here is there are other companies which have already level four, level five in, in prototype in stage, the cars which are on road and can drive on their own. And there are a bunch of these stats which you can go and find online. The focus of this trends is not to overload you with all the stats you can Google out and find. But the key idea here is how can you position yourself to build experiences and products in a world where there would not be a driver or uh, not all, and they will have lots of free time. So what are these cool services which you should be thinking about today and build them for that future? Same goes with variables for everyone. And the key here is today we know for a fact that the, so, so the watch is one of the variables, but when I say variables, these are anything which you can wear on the body. And today we know for a fact that Apple has a lot of these services with a heart rate monitor, a lot of data is being extracted from, the, uh, from all of these devices. But the key question for us as product manager is, how can we build and what can we build with all this data available at our fingertips about a person as well as the environment around that with all these uh, eyeglasses, goggles, and all these other variables? Similarly, AI-infused services. We have seen the advent of the duplex. What it does basically at the fundamental level is it automates the, uh, the example they take is salon appointment or any other services which you can book 
automatically. Now, obviously, there are other uh, businesses which can scale around with this. There's spam calls and other things. Let's see where it goes. But the key idea here is what are the products we can build when we know in a, in a world, future world, there'll be lots of these algorithms and data available for building these cool uh, products for customer service as well as industrial applications. Finally, the fourth key trend, early trend, which, which I see uh, very relevant today is AR, VR gaming experience. And here, we look at Facebook Oculus and where we, there, are, there are these key components for gaming already into play. But the cool thing here is what happens when you add online gaming into picture? With the announce, announcement of Stadia and one-click gaming, these, these trends with the goggles and the uh, one-click online, uh, one -click online uh, enablement of all these experiences, how can we build these immersive products for the customers? Moving on to what can you do to be ready for this future? First, we need to know what's one's current focus. For example, you can be working as a mobile app developer, but would that be uh, scalable for the future you see uh, heading towards? Which are the key trends you want to target to? And what are the skills you want to build for actually enabling that future? First of all, I would say try these technologies. For example, uh, three years ago, I was curious about all these, uh, all these uh, virtual reality games. So I went to a conference and I said, okay, let me try this out. How does this technology work? I spent around 10 minutes with a VR headset and I loved it. Uh, the game was amazing. I played around it for around 10 minutes. When I removed the headset, I literally, the, my head spun for like two minutes, which, which, which gave me the impression uh, first of all, that the technology is cool, but not yet ready. But the key takeaway for me was, this is coming. In the next iteration, two, three iterations, the technology will be ready. And what are the key things I can build to, to be ready for uh, the VR, gaming, and other cool products we can build with this? So the key message here is, try different technologies to understand and immerse yourself in uh, the latest trends. The second, once you know what skills you need to acquire and what your goal is in terms of building those products, go acquire those skills. And there are a couple of broad ways. First is you can go online, like Coursera, uh, Product School, and various other places to, to learn these hard skills as well as soft skills. But at the same time, the key thing which has helped me is you go and do some projects for uh, uh, teams internally, as well as propose those projects and do for other companies on a pro bono, pro bono uh, work or consulting so that you can immerse yourself in these new key trends. Finally, once you are uh, ready, you know what your current focus is, you know what are the key trends, the, you have tried out different technologies, and you have tried to fill in some of those gaps, go pitch those ideas internally to different uh, leaders, product leaders, as well as uh, if you're a startup founder, you go and build it, uh, pitch it to the venture capitalists and other folks, and build these cool products. And most importantly, you want to track them, measure them, as you've seen in some of the previous presentations. So go pitch and build internally as well as externally. To summarize, there are three things what I, what I hope you would do after this presentation. First, go experience tech yourself, be it the current technologies, which are smart home IoT, voice services, as well as wearables, or the future trends, 
like AIML infused services, the AR, VR gaming uh, technologies, or, or the autonomous uh, related vehicles and other uh, products. Second, once you have tried and you have understood what areas you want to focus on, find the right projects, go build and ship them. That's very key. Second one is the most important thing. Go immerse yourself and build those products and ship it. And finally, make sure this is aligned with what career you want to focus on and have a bright future beyond mobile. Thank you. <laughs>